Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about Gene Montero, a player that the New York Knicks signed last night to an Exhibit 10 deal that will be uh, participating with the New York Knicks Summer League team. And I feel like this is a player that should excite Knicks fans. He's a young 18-year-old from the Dominican Republic that's a point guard that's really small, shifty, and quick. So in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts of this signing. And man, oh man, was last night something crazy as a Knicks fan seeing what the Knicks did. If you guys want to get my thoughts of all the trades that happened last night with with that 11th pick and that 13th pick and then uh, the draft pick of Trevor Keels. Let me know uh, your thoughts because I would love to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comments and I'll leave the link down below in the description for those videos if you guys did not see my thoughts on that. So before we hop into today's video, I just want to mention if you guys are new to Knicks Media, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Got a lot of Knicks content coming your way leading up to free agency and of course in the summer league and everything uh, during the season. And if you guys want to hit that like button, if you enjoy the video, I'll greatly appreciate that. Now, with that being said, let's get right into Gene Montero. So, with the research I found about Gene Montero, you know, the one thing that I learned is his route to the league is very different, right? If, for those of you guys that don't know, um, he's part of the Overtime Elite uh, uh, League, which is a basketball league that's an alternative route for high schoolers that, you know, are from international play. And they actually pay these kids six figures to play basketball so the international people can go out there and get some experience in high school for that transition into the NBA. So the Knicks uh, decided to take a risk on an 18 year old from the Dominican Republic who's six foot one. He's a small point guard in, and in that league, he put up 17.1 points per game, 6.2 rebounds, 4.7 assists, and three and a half steals per game in the overtime elite league uh, last year as an 18 year old point guard. So he definitely flashed in that league. Um, this is a guy with a lot of upside. He obviously is very raw. But the one thing that really stood out to me about his game is he's extremely quick. He's shifty. His, he has finesse. He's really smooth with the ball in his hands. And you can tell that he has the talent if everything really clicks together. I feel like this is a player that's going to uh, be fun to watch during the summer league. Because as we all know, the Knicks are going to be uh, in Vegas for summer league this year. And it's going to be Trevor Keels is going to be there. I'm not sure if any of the year two guys are going to be playing. I'm not sure if they announced that yet. Like Deuce McBride or Jericho or Grimes. I don't know if any of those guys will be participating participating because Summer League is about the year one and year two guys and then other people we bring in. So it will be interesting to see what G. Montero does. Uh, his contract has not become guaranteed unless he does make the regular season roster, which I don't think he's going to make the regular season roster, to be honest. But he will be on the 20-man roster, probably heading into training camp and heading into preseason and all that stuff. So G. Montero is the guy that Knicks fans should definitely do some research on. You know, his story is different. I like the, you know, the international pool that the NBA is doing. They're really trying to make this game go global. And getting a guy in G. Montero, um, he was overtime elites all also first international signing. So this is a player that was obviously very high on everyone's board in terms of international play. And his story is really awesome. You know, he just grew up in a, at a place that really basketball wasn't, you know, everything. And I, I read an article about that he really had to find a way to build courts around him and get up shots and practice. And he was able to sign with an overtime uh, elite team and then put up these crazy numbers. And he just really looks like a player that, you know, could really develop. And I feel like he's going to be a fun, a fun time to watch in the summer league. So let me know your thoughts of this player down below. Gene Montero is a point guard that I feel like is going to run the show at Summer League and show some flashes and show that he definitely has some raw talent within him because all the highlights and all the film and all the study that I did on his profiles, really, I am impressed by him. So I want to get your thoughts down below of Gene Montero. Obviously, this is not a flashy move, right? On draft free agency, it's all about trying to find the diamond in the rough, trying to find the player that potentially could make the roster or maybe provide depth on the New York Knicks or be that uh, player for the Westchester Knicks G League team. Because that's probably the most likely scenario is he's going to be on the Westchester Knicks this year. And if anything crazy happens this year with injuries, you never know. He could be called up as an 18, 19 year old, which is still unlikely. But I do. I still am excited to see what he does in the summer league. Let me know your thoughts of this signing for the New York Knicks. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Don't forget to thumbs up the video as well if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go Knicks. Peace out.